Hey everybody, 28th floor of the Tower of Champions here. Um, this features, um, the first stage features the classic uh, kill me before I kill you, white blast of death. Uh, so make sure you pinch these monsters. Uh, within four turns you get one miss. Um, and each pair does have a spot for you to pinch them, so uh, don't miss it. And this should go fairly quickly on um, the second stage. Uh, once again, you have to do the same thing. You have four turns, so that means you get one miss. Um, if you were able to do uh, the first stage in, in a perfect amount of turns, uh, you should be well set for this one. Uh, the party here is Hikari, uh, Tempest, Aura Monstriker, and Ashura. Uh, the mines do do a good amount of damage, so I would highly suggest bringing minesweepers with you uh, and not too many flights. Alright, so this stage uh, we have four pairs of monsters and you see that the death counter is at six, so that gives you two misses. Um, make sure you uh, look at where your monsters are and uh, use that to de determine which pair you want to uh, take out. Uh, you want to make this uh, as easy for yourself as much as possible. Um, but as you can see, if you, I mean, you should have practice if you were able to clear Yamatake. So hopefully this is in your blood by now. Um, okay, so this fourth stage actually features the mini boss for the first time. Uh, the gimmicks is still the same. You need to kill the minions within the uh, amount of turns in the top right. However, the boss in this level will heal everybody to their max health each turn. So you must kill them in one shot. If you don't, and we'll take a look at the left minion, healed max. Um, so we need to make sure to kill the bottom right one because I had two turns left and now we need to focus to killing the left minion within two turns. Um, unfortunately Tempest isn't in the greatest position and yes, and look at the boss even though I cleared out half its health, healed to max. Um, now, if I don't kill that left minion, I will die, so I was praying, and yes, luckily got that pinch in there. And so, not surprisingly, that means we also have to pinch uh, the boss for uh, for the win here. Now, I didn't want to clear this level without max health, so I did opt to go bottom left, but if I was at a high enough health, I would have definitely gone top right and tried to go for that squeeze. Um, personally, from experience, I feel like the right position is pretty difficult to get the pinch on. Um, I've had a lot more success when it's in the bottom or top position, so uh, do not worry. Um, it does have one. It does has one powerful attack. This lightning, as you can see, that was almost 30, 40 k worth of damage. Uh, but aside from that. Uh, if you can survive that, you should be able to continue. And luckily I got the pinch there. Uh, if that weak point is also placed nicely, you should uh, get it easily. Um, Battle 5 is basically the same thing as last time, except we'll have one more minion. Uh, keep an eye on the uh, death counters. I believe both of the right ones had the shorter count, so make sure you take, of the, take care of them first. Um, and here, since uh, we want to get to the minions, had Tempest go up there. And next is the Aramon Striker. Since he's right at the boss, you might as well take the opportunity. And luckily it worked. But of course, the minions are still there, so make sure you clean, clean them up. And there you go. That is the uh, the stages before the boss, and all right. So let's be careful about this one. So there are three clones here. Uh, the top left right now is the main one. It uh, does you cannot damage it at all. You can't even hit it. Uh, the top right one is a clone, and it will. It's like a scorpion. You can only deal one damage to it if you hit it directly. However, bump combos and I believe strike shots will uh, deal its full damage to it. 
and that leaves the bottom clone and that bottom clone is the only one where you can deal uh, damage so if you can try and pinch there if and you know I'm just regretting there if if only I didn't have the power down uh, I might have been able to pinch for the win there um, oh yeah and the uh, the clone which is uh, reduces damage to one each time which is at the bottom left right now uh, it does have that attack down uh, attack so do be careful about that and try not to lose track of which one is which um, if you don't keep track nicely it will make your life a little bit not, not a little bit a lot harder uh, there is a picture of the movements on the official forums. I would suggest you take a look there or, you know, whatever uh, uh, strategy site you like, such as StrikeShot.net. Um, okay, so let's take care of this one. The main is on the top right. You cannot damage it. The clone A is on left. That will reduce damage for everything but bump combos and strike shots. And the uh, attackable clone is on the bottom right right now. Uh, they will start moving. So now our target is in the top position. Um, as you can see, it's not as tight to the wall when it's in that top position. So it's a little bit of an unfortunate move, but nothing we can do there. And so we're just waiting for that clone to go to the bottom. And I believe it is pinchable on the left wall. Gonna try and take advantage of Tempest Bump Combo, which I believe I misjudged which clone the right one was. Uh, Alright, so the good clone is on the right side, so I believe this should end the stage. Yes. Alright, so third stage, the final stage. Um, the boss does have a lot of HP. It looks like it's around 7 million. Uh, the main which you can't damage is on the bottom left. The one that reduces bump combos is on the right. And the one we can actually damage for full, full power is on the top left right now. And as you can see, unfortunately, I have three of my monsters with power down. But uh, do remember that there is a big counter and once that hits zero you are dead dead so I opted to go for the strike shot um, okay once again Ashura makes her move 1 million damage that's pretty good um, of course we have Ikari now and if you can hit both of the uh, both of the clones, it will share HP. So uh, that's the best way to maximize your damage for sure for someone uh, like Hikari Strike Shot or uh, Izanami if you have someone with meteors. And of course, uh, Tempest, uh, her Strike Shot increases based on the number of times you hit the enemies. Unfortunately, it's not that great in this level because at most you're going to be able to hit two. Um, but that speed up definitely helps uh, increase attack. And uh, we have the Aramon Striker dealing damage. Unfortunately, I didn't hit everyone or hit the boss as much as I would have liked, but barely hung on. And there you go. That is the end of 20. It is not an easy stage, so uh, it takes uh, very uh, close attention to details here. You don't want to get distracted and lose track of which one's the main, which one's the clone uh, A, and which one's clone B. Uh, definitely pay attention, keep track of them, and you know make sure you can deal the damage before uh, you run out of time. All right, that's the end of this floor. On to the next one.